morning, friends, and welcome back to Southern Yankee. Today, I have a really fun video for you guys. Um, I had an Amazon seller contact me called Let Pot, and you guys know I love gardening. A lot of you also love gardening. Some of you may want to garden, but don't have the conditions in your home to do so. So maybe you are dealing with, you know, you're in an apartment or a small community, you know, senior living, or your house is just small and you don't have land and you really would love to grow some of your own flowers and vegetables. So that is where this guy comes in. This is also a great thing to do with children um, to teach them about how to grow. So this is the um, the let pot. This is a hydroponic system, and one of the cool things about this is it lets you grow your um, you can grow veggies and herbs, um, or you can go grow flowers and fruits in three three times faster than what you would do if you were just growing these seeds on your own. Um, and it is a hydroponic smart system with an APP assistant to help you grow and grow well. Now I've never used this. I am excited to set this up and try it and see what happens and take you along with me for that journey. I do want to point out a couple of quick features for you really quick and then we will open the box, do the unboxing and show you everything and how to put it together and then we're going to pick out our seeds and we're going to plant and I'll, and you should see clips as, as it's growing as well. So hang on just for just a second. We're going to show you some features and benefits. Okay, so the Let Pot features two growing modes. One for fresh herbs and veggies and one for fruits and vegetables and why are they separate because there's different light requirements depending on what you're growing so if you're growing herbs and veggies you can do that I believe this has 12 pods as well so you can grow up to 12 different types of fruits and flowers or 12 different herbs and veggies how cool to just have sort of like an herb garden in your kitchen and then you can have fresh cilantro and fresh celery and fresh whatever you know <clears throat> oregano, whatever you want, basil. And um, they also have a smart control system uh, with an app and that's the APP assistant. So you can check on if you have, if it needs water, you'll be able to check on it. Now, I don't know a lot about that yet. I do need to kind of get into this and open it up and I'll give you more details as we go along. And then it also has 70 lamp beads and that is um, 24 watts. Um, and it, that, like I mentioned, it does speed the growing by three times. I mean, I would be so excited. So excited. Okay, so there's just some of the like fun little details about this, but I think we need to get into this, don't you? And see what this is about. So I'm going to change the camera angle so you can take a look and see what I'm seeing as I'm opening it. Okay, does come with a sturdy handle. All right, right on the top, you can see you have your user's manual, and then here is the pot. Let's see if we can pull this out. What is down here? Okay, so, oh, it must come with some food. Um, looks like it has some nutrient plant foods, a A and a B. It also comes with little wet pot welcome to eco-friendly technological gardening and probably some directions and things here in customer service. Oh, here it talks about the app, so we'll have to get into that. But let's get into this. Okay, so on the top it says power, veg, flower, and pump, and Wi-Fi. Okay guys, so this part here is just an extendable rod. Okay, so this, it does raise up. And then I think this is for maybe the uh, nutrients and then you've got your pods here. But we do wanna take this off for a minute. Let's see what we have in here. So plant food. Okay, this is what we're gonna, these are little sponges um, that you plant the seeds in an up close look at that I believe you could should put I think I read you got to put like two or three seeds in each one and it's like a sponge and when it's ready you can just take this whole thing out and plant it into your outside if you're gonna move it and you can buy refills of these I do sell the refills okay here's the a plant food um, some kind of a little basket don't know what that is for yet we have the power cord 
Looks like we have some plant stakes and some plant identifiers or labels. And then our little baskets. Um, maybe this is for some measuring of something. And then we've got little um, domes to put over the baskets. And I think that is it, but there is tape down here on the power thing that we're gonna take off. So let's see what it says to do first. Okay, so take it out, open this, which we did. Okay, and remove the water tank cover and take the accessories out, did that. Before adding water to the tank, connect the power to the DC jack first. That is this, right? Where's the DC jack? Everything is labeled, so that's super nice. All right, so power jack K right here. All right, hold on. Okay, so what I did was I added the power here to the back, to the jack, and then there's a little pump on the inside here, and that gets plugged in right up here, and it says pump and power jack or something right there, so that's all set. So now, I believe we're going to fill this with water and then we'll assemble it. All right, so to add purified water to the tank, I'm gonna fill this up. I need more. And we have power. It's all filled up. So now you wanna take purified water and fill these bottles and then you use the cap as a measurement and it is labeled. I don't know how well you can see that to add the nutrients. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to, in fact, I'll do it over here so don't spill it like that. the cap back on and you do want to shake it well because it's got tablets in there so you got to shake it till the tablets dissolve and we got to do that for both now let's do this one Now we add the nutrients, so we are going to add one cup of A. And one cup of B. Next you put on this is the water level indicator you're going to stick that on so it's showing me that it has three liters of water right now and it shows me that if you get down to here, that's the minimum amount of water. So when this starts to drip, I'll need to put more water in. The next thing you're going to do is fill, put your baskets in. My cat's checking it out. She's very curious, as kitty cats are. <laughs> and this is also where you can pour more water in and fill it, just so you know. And like I said, this does hold 12 of these baskets. A 
looking good, looking good. And it looks like there is a minimum and a maximum amount of water you can put in here. I could actually put probably a little bit more water in. I think I will do that just to give it a really great start. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is some cherry tomatoes in the back. And so it says put two or three seeds, one, two. They, they go way down in there, three. And then we'll, once you get them in the little hole, you're going to stick your pod down in the water. I assume it'll fill up with water and stay in there. Right now it's just sort of floating. So, and these are like the little sponge things. So I have 12 things and I think I have six, so I can do two cherry tomatoes. I'll do two of each. There we go. I am also going to do, I'm trying to put the taller things in the back. Uh, dill is probably tall, right? I would think. We'll do some dill. I've never grown dill. I've never grown several of these things, so I'm really excited to see if I can. So let's do dill one. Two, three. Oop, that one fell out right there. That looks like a good one, though. Oh, it escaped. Okay, it's in there. And one more. Stuck on my finger. There we go. There's our dill. I don't know if they're supposed to like push down or what. If I'm supposed to like push them in. I don't really know. They're sort of floating. Okay, well, dill is done. Okay, next, so we did the cherry tomatoes and the dill. How about the nasturtium seeds next? These are a little heavier seeds and bigger seeds. Let's see if it even, if these seeds will fit. I have no idea what color nasturtiums these are, so it'll be a fun surprise. These usually grow well. I'm gonna only put two seeds in each one because I have lots of nasturtiums. You can use these in salads and they're beautiful. So bonus. stick. Yeah, these seeds might be a little too big for... Okay, we're going to skip nasturtiums. Those seeds are a little too big for this. I'll do something else. We'll switch that one up. I have an idea. I don't want to force them, you know, so we'll do something else. Um, okay, so let's do our chamomile next. We'll take this out because I'm going to change that. Okay, and I can see that these are getting water. Um, they're getting filled with water, which is great. I've never grown chamomile either, so this will be fun. I'm gonna get it open. Oh, these are little seeds, okay. Oh my God, they're so little. Can you see how little these seeds are? Oh my goodness, okay. I'm scared. <laughs> We're just gonna put a pinch in there and hope they grow. It's too hard to figure out if you got one or how many seeds you have in this one. There is our chamomile. Hope I did okay with that one. Now we're gonna do our thyme seeds. Here. I'll do three of the thyme because I'm I want to do some thyme on the side garden maybe move these 
So again, super tiny seeds, so be careful. I think I got them in there. We'll find out. Okay, and all this up front here, I'm going to do lettuce because we all need lettuce. And that's something we can eat on year round. And it's usually pretty easy to grow. Also easier to plant because the seeds are a little bit bigger. Here's what the lettuce seeds look like up close. Maybe we're gonna put about two or three in here. Well, if we can get them in. Get in there, little dude. There's one. Oops, I didn't get any. Done, okay. Now, you take the little domes and you put those over the top until everything's germinated. So you actually do not take these off. Okay, yeah, as they fill with water, see how they're sticking up like that? But as they soak up the water, then they're filling up. I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can see this, but you can see sort of these ones in the back as they're filling up with water, they are keeping them down. There's a little grow dome. Like a little greenhouse effect. No soil, it just got sponge, water, and nutrients. So I'm excited to see what happens with this. Little nervous, hoping it works for you. And I, got, I guess I got one extra here. And then I have for the tomatoes, um, when they start to grow, there are these like sticks so you can, um, you can train them up, you know, so that you, they have something that you can attach them to. So I'm just gonna put the sticks in there for now. Those should be the only two, two things that I need to, um, to stake in here. And yeah, that is it. That's it, whoa, close up. Okay, so that's it for the setup of the Let Pot. I'm going to be giving you guys periodic updates. You'll see when I take the covers off, you'll see when they sprout and you'll see as they grow. And um, as they continue on, I will continue giving you updates and I'll give you my final review at the end. Okay, so one thing I also wanted to show you is the very top of this has, it says power, veggie, flower, and then there's the pump and that's showing that it's on when it's lit. So if you press the veggie mode, which is what I did, it puts little blue and red lights, LED lights. I don't know how well those will reflect, but I can see them in the top of the domes, all the little blue and red lights. Let me get you guys a little closer look. Okay, here we are. So you can see everything here. You see the blue and red lights. You see our water indicator, we have four liters of water, so we are really good, and I actually could fill it up a little bit more, but I think I think it's probably good. I mean, I looked at this, it's like, well, I guess I could put a little bit more in there, maybe that would help, but these are all starting to stay down now, 
And this runs continuously on veggie mode for a 24 hours. It, it's a cycle and it will run for 16 hours and then it enters a sleep pattern for eight hours. And it does this every single day. Um, you, you also can put it on uh, stand, uh, Wi-Fi and everything as well and use your app to check on it. But I'm super excited. So we have cherry tomatoes, chamomile, dill, thyme, and lettuce. So I can't wait to see these sprout. Oh my gosh, this is fun. I think it's time to take a look at our let pot. Um, now, I noticed I was getting sprouts within three days. So exciting. Now I think it's four or five days. I don't know, we're not even at a week yet. So I think it's actually, when did I set this up? Monday or Tuesday and it's only Friday. So, um, but let me show you what it's doing. All right, now you'll see some of these are off and that is, well, first of all, my cat, thinks they're toys. And so this is not the best location. I need to move this probably upstairs after the video so that we can keep going. And some things sprouted and some things didn't. So let me get really close and show you. So in the back are tomatoes um, and they have come up. You can see the cat's been rubbing. She's got like, I don't want all this falling into it. I gotta, that's why this needs to go upstairs because there's a little cat here. She's been rubbing all over it. All right, so, but regardless, our tomatoes are up and I had to take the tops off because it was touching the top, all right? So then um, over here we have chamomile here and here. And so I'm just gonna take one off and show you guys. Uh, those were the tiniest little seeds. So there's a lot of seeds coming in and there's a cat hair in there, the dumb cats. Okay, so I only did two of, two of the chamomile. I think, oh yeah, so I think there's a, yeah, those are those are time. So that's chamomile. So we'll be plucking out some of the stronger blooms when we get a minute. And then um, in the back here, dill, these ones did not germinate yet. Now uh, I can see something's happening in there. Um, I have never actually grown dill, uh, so I don't really know. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to get it in focus. I don't really know, like, um, see, you can see some, something's germinating in there. I can see it, but I don't know how long it takes to germinate. The other thing I found with this is that the sponges fill up with water and then you can, you can push the sponge down a little bit. So like the sponges were up cause they weren't when I first did it. Once you get the seeds in there and you push it down, the water soaks up. So then here, um, these guys are thyme, and we do have success. Um, this one is obviously growing. I didn't. It was just like looks like it was just laying on top of the sponge, and it still grew. So we have a couple of thyme here. That one is just starting to come in. That one's a little bit further behind than its sister. All right, and then up in here, we have lettuce. And in our lettuce category, look at, look at, the lettuce is doing pretty well, but this one, this one is not doing as well. I wonder, I can see, I can see it in there. So it's just gonna take, oops, bad filmer. It's just gonna take a little bit. You can see the seed, it's swollen. So it looks like it's going to, it's going to do well. But these are about ready where I can um, take the little domes off these guys. I'm going to leave it on um, just a little bit longer, um, like another day, because by tomorrow I'm going to need to take it off. And you can see I haven't done anything to it. I'm still at my max level. I did not have this all the way pushed in, so it was showing at like four and a half. And when I actually pushed it, it was at max. So, and here is our little water reservoir. Water reservoir. We have the um, a and B solution in here. Um, I haven't had to do anything with this. It is just going like on its own and it's on a timer and it comes on and goes off when it needs to. It's on for 16 hours, off for eight hours. Um, so, so far, really, really easy. And I do have this down low the top. Um, this does raise up and um, as the plants grow, I'll be raising them up and I do have sticks back here just so that I can have room for um, those tomatoes as they grow, uh, which will eventually go out into the yard. Um, so overall, that's where we are in less than one week. I already figured out that I'm too late on the, um, 
to try to get, I'm too late trying to get some of those tomatoes out. The roots are so intertwined, they're too large. So I am taking um, some of the thyme out of here, but I'm not gonna be able to get the tomatoes out. Um, so hopefully if I did raise the thing up, I just wanna thin this a little bit cause we have too much in here. All right, I'm gonna work on this and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna also need to give this some more water. Um, I thinned these out quite a bit here and here, um, but I do have some uh, really long ones that came out like with roots, like look at the root, look at the root on this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in my flower bed outside. I think it's gonna grow. I'm gonna take a few of these little babies and stick them out there and just see if they'll grow. But I couldn't really, you can see how big the tomatoes are. <laughs> I couldn't really do too much with them. I'm going to have to like, once I get them out of here, try to like break the sponge and separate them. Um, so as they get to a certain point, I'm going to have to move them. Um, and the dill, I mean, it's, it's okay, but it's so floppy. So I don't know. I've never grown dill before. Is that normal? Does it, does it get any stronger? I don't know. Um, all right. So, but you can see my water level here. This is falling. There we go. Okay. Um, my water level here is still okay, but it's using more now because, um, because it is so much is growing in here, but I am so impressed with how well this is doing. So, so, so impressed with it. So this is about a two and a half week update guys. This system grows your stuff about 50% um, quicker. I am going to buy more sponges because the next round I'm going to do is flowers. After I do, after I get these out in the yard, I'm going to do some flowers in here. I'll take you on that journey in my vlogs as well. So, but I'm so excited. I mean, look at this beautiful, healthy lettuce coming up and lettuce you can eat at any stage. It'd be real tender and nice right now. Um, so it, it, it can, but I'm going to let it get a little bit obviously a little larger and um, no flowers yet on the tomatoes, no buds or anything yet, but I did just, I did just move it up. I think also I'm going to have to secure these now. Like at this point we need a little bit of help here and we are going to secure these to our sticks. So I don't have anything to secure them with right now, so I'll have to do that another day. But they're growing really well and healthy, and I'm so happy about them. And these are some sort of a cherry um, cherry tomato. So, yeah, they're doing fabulous. Everything is doing fabulous. Very, very happy. Very happy. I'm going to pull these bottom leaves off. Those are the beginning leaves when they first started. All right, so that is our update on our let pot. So, so happy. I'm excited to see what it continues to do. All right, guys, I came in here with the plant room with the um, the let pot and the tomatoes. I had just raised it a few days ago, and the tomatoes were all the way up to the top of the light. So I just, I think I have it as high as it will go now. And this will be the last update for the video. I think we're, I poured water on me, sorry. I think we're at like week, um, week three now and i just i'm so impressed with the results um the tomatoes i'm going to put out this weekend into the garden uh, but i'm going to show it to you i'm actually um, filtering some more water i'm putting more um water in and more um nutrients for the plants but look at what we've got going on so look at how tall these guys got so here's our chamomile um, the lettuce is doing, oops, the lettuce is doing really, really good. Um, it's, it's maybe needs to also go into the soil at this point cause it's kind of floppy, but, um, our chamomile is doing well. Our, um, our thyme is doing okay. I think it'll benefit from the new nutrients I'm putting in. And I think we're going to, we've got some good dill going on here as well, but the tomatoes, I am so, so impressed with the way this thing grew tomatoes and we'll definitely start my tomatoes in this, um, in the future. And actually I'm pretty impressed with the lettuce too. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the lettuce. So, um, I mean this, this, this kind of lettuce is the best lettuce to eat right here. This is like really good stuff. So everything's doing absolutely fabulous. I mean, I have to say that this, this thing really um, grew, grew these items quickly. So if you don't want to wait the normal time it takes to like start seed. 
all right, I got cut off. But anyway, as that's, I'm filtering that water. But if you're, if you don't want to wait for the seeds, like the normal length of time for seeds, this is such a great way. It's a great way to have just sort of an indoor kitchen garden through the, the summer, fall, or it's like the fall and winter months. But if you are looking to get things started and then maybe, maybe move them outside, I think this is such a great, great idea. Um, I'm really impressed, especially how quickly those tomatoes plants just took off. I can actually see, so, um, Right now, it looks like it's just putting greenery on. Let me look. Looks like it's getting ready to start some seed, uh, some flowers in there. I don't see any flowers yet, but these plants are only three weeks old. This is insane. Absolutely insane. So um, this is just finishing, finishing up. It's filtering. I've got the nutrients in there already. And um, this, I, it's at the point now, the levels, you can see levels really low. I need to, I need to fill it up with water and nutrients. So I've got the nutrients in there. I'm just waiting on this to finish up. I think it's probably good. So I'm going to fill this up. I will leave all of this information down below for you guys so you can check out this system. This is also perfect if you don't have a place, like if you don't have a garden, if, you don't, if you're in an apartment or something like that, you can do this. Just don't put as many seeds in. Be a little bit more, because um, I have like, I would maybe put two seeds in for the tomatoes since they, I just didn't know how well this was gonna work, so I think I overseeded. Um, but I would just maybe put two tomatoes in and then one, and then cut the weaker of the two off and keep growing the the good one, um, and you should be good to go, and you should be able to grow this. There are tiny tom tomatoes or and tiny tim tomatoes that the plants only get 12 inches tall. Those would be perfect for something like this. If you were gonna grow inside and you wanted little salad tomatoes, get those and do this in here. I think that would be fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing watered. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Very fun experiment to play with this and to work with this. Um, I'm excited to be able to harvest off of this. I, I'll probably continue to give you guys updates during my, my regular weekly vlogs and things like that, but I wanted to at least show you the final, like here's where we are in three weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed, have a wonderful day. All right, I just gotta show you guys this. I just filled it up with water, so I made a little bit of a mess, but um, I, and this is kinda <clears throat> holding these up right now. So when I get home today, I'm getting ready to go do, uh, go to the salon, but when I get home, I am going to plant all of this out, and I will show you. The, these um, have gotten so long, and they're big, they're cherry tomato ones, but they are getting leggy, and they need to be planted in a deeper amount of soil for their roots, um, and, We'll go, look at this. Oh gosh, the, the roots are all like, can you guys see that? Look yeah, at how many roots they're growing. Um, the roots are all kind of tangled with everything else. So um, this doesn't seem to have too deep of a root, root system. So uh, that's the time. And then the dill, I think I might just plant out front with my flowers, because even when it flowers, it gets a beautiful yellow flower. So yeah, see, these are so big right now. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be planting this out in just a little bit later today.